when working with gas law problem, we have to do certain things in a certain order and pair things in a certain way. What I'm going to show you is how to use Boyle's law and show you how to pair things. What I'm calling pairs is making sure that we get one volume compared to a particular pressure and a second volume compared to a new pressure. We call these conditions one and two. So in the problem, the way it reads, it says the volume of a gas at, and then it gives you a pressure. So that's pressure sub one. And that pressure is going to be, in this problem, 99.0 kilopascals. And they say that the volume when the gas is at that pressure, so that's our V1 also, it's a one, and it, now we're talking about the volume that goes with this pressure. And that volume is 300.0, and the unit of measure is milliliters. So the next thing they're going to give us is uh, the pressure is going to increase. And they say the new pressure is, aha, that is going to be P2. So the new pressure is now going to be 188. And that's going to also be in kilopascals. If they gave you that new pressure in a different unit, such as atmospheres or tors, you would have to change one of these guys into a unit of measure that would match the other. It doesn't matter who you match, just as long as they are both the same. Okay, the find is, uh, according to this, it says, what will the new volume be? Ah, uh, the new volume is going to be volume two. And that's what we're asked to find. So, we're going to put out Boyle's Law, P1, V1 equals P2, V2. And now all we have to do, since the way we've set this up, we've got what each of those is worth, we're going to just plug them in. So P1 is going to be 99.0 kilopascals. And volume 2, or I'm sorry, and volume 1 that goes with that is going to be 300.0 mils. And now the second pressure that we were given is 188 kilopascals. And that's going to be multiplied by whatever the new volume is. And so that guy, the new volume, is our unknown. So all we have to do at this point in time to solve this problem is get V by itself over there on the right side of this equation. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by 188 pascals. Now let's circle, or kilopascals that is, kilopascals. And this is the kilopascals at the top. This is the kilopascals at the bottom. <laughs> Sorry, that's a little messy. And we can cross those out. And we can also cross out the 188. And what we wind up with on the other side is 188, also kilopascals, kpas, and that's one meter. And we are going to circle this unit of measure here and cancel that baby out. And now all we have on the left side for a unit of measure is mils. And the 188 is going to be divided into 99 plus 100. So dividing or multiplying the 99.0 times 300 and then divide by 188, my calculator says 157.9. And we only have three sig figs here, so we're going to round that to 158. And so we have 158 milliliters is equal to our V2. And that's our answer. Not so bad. Hope that gets you started and working with these guys correctly. And I'm going to do a second video on a 
Charles' law problem, and we'll talk about temperature then.